Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Odie Survives. And today I'm back with a new video. Today. And you're also probably wondering why my intro is a little bit different, uh, isn't it? Welcome back to the Odie Beats Cancer channel. I changed it to Odie Survives. And the reason why I did that was because I feel like that title kind of embodies more of what I am going through right now. And that's just trying to survive, okay? And additionally, I feel like the Odie Beats Cancer title I don't know it's kind of given this unsolicited attention to cancer and I don't want to do that anymore I don't want to give cancer any more attention than it's already robbing me of um, and this channel is about surviving you know the good the bad the ugly glimpse of what it's like to like the title states survive cancer um, and um, that embodies you know, obviously, how I handle my everyday life, how I um, manage being a mom while battling cancer, and, you know, just everyday challenges. And I feel like Odie Survives is a better way to put it, right? That's what I'm doing right now. I'm just trying to survive. I'm doing what I have to do to kind of um, move out of this phase of um, my illness, of this nasty disease that has decided to just inhibit, inhibit my body without any permission like excuse me bye i'm not giving you any more attention than you deserve today is friday may 7th and i'm actually on my way to an appointment and i'm gonna have a thyroid ultrasound now you guys are probably so confused a thyroid ultrasound what the heck does that have to do with colon cancer well actually it has zero to do with my colon cancer um actually and one of the things that came out of um so many scans that i'm getting ct scans pet scans regularly is that they identified two small nodules on my neck um this was probably a year ago and so every six months i have to go for a follow-up um sonogram just to make sure that there's no growth that nothing looks abnormal i mean um we've already taken pathology um from these little thyroid nodules i believe they're like 2.5 centimeters i have two of them uh, one on the right side and one on the left side uh they're each about two to 2.5 centimeters so not that big um six months ago i did pathology on it it came back negative for cancers but in any case we already know my body likes to produce cancer so there's no way i'm not gonna you know have my follow-up scans and make sure that um, my thyroid is okay, that those nodules are not growing, that there's nothing abnormal. So just going for a fall. I just finished uh, grocery shopping here at Walmart and um, I got some stuff for Mother's Day because Mother's Day is this Friday and I'm gonna be making some fun uh, little finger foods. We're gonna spend the day obviously with my mom, my siblings, we're gonna be out by the pool. I'm off chemo this week, honey, so I am thriving. <laughs> No, seriously, guys, I'm doing so much better for, since the last update. Um, yeah, chemo around 20 wasn't fun. It was difficult. It was disgusting. Um, I was nauseated. I was, I had such a loss of appetite this round. I mean, my sister was over my house kind of helping me. She was working from home and literally she was spoon feeding me because there was no way I could willingly take a spoon and bring it to my mouth it was that bad guys if you know you know um so i was in bed for about four consecutive days by the time it was bedtime on friday i was like wow i'm feeling significantly bad distraction is such a big a big thing in this process i think if you have the will to want to get out of bed even i mean of course physiologically you're going through crap and you kind of have to let that stuff cycle out of your body or kind of release out of your body but at the same time you have to have the will to want to get out of bed and you have to want to take the initiative to feel better because if you continue to keep yourself in a funk if you continue to lay there and just kind of like feed into all the negative stuff that the chemo brings with it then clearly you're gonna feel worse for longer so i i really do feel that having a positive mindset that having the will and the determination to just get the heck up and get that chemo out of your system truly truly uh, makes an impact and so like i said by friday night i was like jeez i'm already feeling significantly better and saturday 
there was no stopping me i woke up early into the laundry i cleaned oh man i was feeling brand new today is friday of the following week so um i'm feeling completely and significantly better i do go in for chemo on tuesday may 13th uh but that's okay you know i have a couple days where i need to enjoy seize the moment and um focus on my family focus on um my household chores focus on just enjoying life and enjoying mother's day all right so i'm gonna stop my rant i'm gonna um grab some lunch so i'll bring you guys with me since i did ask on the community if you guys wanted to see more lifestyle vlogs and some of you said yes so why not you guys want to come have lunch with me let's go let's go grab some lunch i'll show you some of the things that i'm able to eat when i'm off chemo Ooh. and then we're gonna go get this thyroid sonogram ultrasound thing out of the way just to make sure everything's good you know gotta dot my eyes cross my t's and make sure my body is not trying to produce more cancer okay let's get started with this video let's go all right guys here's my lunch i'm having a tuna wrap today with cucumbers sweet potato some brown rice this is a wheat tortilla and i'm having my drink having a cute little date by myself here <laughs> Alright guys, so update, it is now 3.21, my appointment was at 1.15 and I was waiting for close to two hours. Um, I just got out of the imaging center right now and I got pretty favorable news. Um, the sonogram tech is not really supposed to disclose any information until the radiologist reads the report. But I kind of probed her a little bit and I was like, hey, <laughs> um, did you see anything concerning? Um, she's like, well... I did see those two nodules that you have, but they're both um, two centimeters or less in size. So I'm not concerned because that just means that based on my previous uh, imaging, um, there hasn't been any growth. So it's really good. I mean, of course, you have to wait to see what the radiologist sees. And of course, my oncologist is probably going to review it. But I don't think um, we need to have any further action based on what the tech just told me today. So, I can breathe a sigh of relief that um, everything seems to be going okay with my thyroid. Um, this has nothing to do with my colon cancer in any way. It's just a little extra thing that we've been monitoring and making sure that um, everything is okay with. So, but it, I mean, the good thing is it's one less thing to worry about, right? One other thing to check off the list. Don't have to worry about that. And so, anyway. I am now on my way to pick up the girls from school and bring them home and um, I have a lot of household chores to do. I have to do laundry and I gotta make some Mother's Day baskets and I don't know, just come along, come along. Oh, and I may stop for coffee because your girl is tired. But... <laughs> Hi, how was school? How was school? Good. What is today? Friday. 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 Woohoo! All right, so we finally made it home, and here is baby Tweety and Pickles and Pickles. Say hello. <laughs> Yes, guys, so we finally made it home. I picked up the girls. Friday is the one day a week they like to have fast food. So they're having McDonald's. Say hi. <laughs> and I am left with this mess right here, this lovely mess in our entryway. 
These are groceries that I did this morning, extra little things that I, uh, the basket, where is it? <laughs> extra little things that I got uh, for Mother's Day. I had to let them out of their cage because they were acting crazy. Are you excited that mommy, mommy's home? Say hi. Say hi, friends. I'm Pickles. Have you. What are you guys doing? Laundry. <laughs> You're doing laundry? Yeah. Thank you. All right, guys, so I am finally done unpacking all my groceries, putting everything away, and I'm just out here enjoying this beautiful view. Look at that. <laughs> Even our dog Igor does enjoying it. <laughs> I love coming out here and just listening to the birds chirp and looking at the sunset. Oh. Hey guys, look who's hanging out with me now. He got jealous because I was giving pickles and a Tweety way too much attention. So look at him, his fat self. <laughs> I love my pets, by the way. That's a fun fact about me. I love animals and I love my pets as if they were my kids. I'm psycho about them. I even give them voices. I mean, they are my children. <laughs> this is Gordo. We call him Gordo, and if you don't know, Gordo <laughs> means fat in English. Uh, his real name is Lucky, but it's kind of morphed into this nickname of Gordo, because as you can tell, he eats well. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video, but I just wanted to thank you so much again for coming along with me, for spending the day with me, for keeping me company, and just, you know, accepting me for who I am and all of my craziness. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you want more videos like this, let me know in the comments down below. Um, let me know how you feel about the channel name change. Let me know if there's any videos that you want me to film or anything in particular that you want to, to see. I'd be more than happy to film that for you. For now, I'm just gonna enjoy this view. Enjoy the rest of my Friday evening. Manny should be home soon and we're gonna be having sushi. Not raw sushi, I can't eat that on chemo, but I'm gonna have grilled salmon sushi and uh, shrimp. Thanks guys, see you later.